okay so we come to the next second part of this video and so far we have eliminated this fourth option because this 8 was causing problems okay and we didn't need anything else other than simple logic we didn't need Hevel Hakimi theorem to eliminate this option okay and then what we are going to do is uh, so we know that this cannot be the correct choice because the, what is asked that which of the following cannot be the degree sequence of any graph okay so 4 has to be there in any option because 4 cannot be the degree sequence of any graph that's what we just found out because 8 cannot come like this with 8 vertices okay because the maximum you can have is 7 so 4 must be in the option so we know that this is out of question and with 4 we are left with 3 it's either 4 alone or 4 with 3 or 4 with 2 okay so let's start with 3 it's a good starting point okay so this is the degree sequence that we have so I'm going to write it exactly as it is there 6 6 4 4 3 2 and 2 and now what we are going to do is it's 8 vertices and it's pretty complicated right if you think think about it you are trying to draw this graph okay with 8 vertices and then seven edges coming from the first and six from that and if you keep on drawing for all the option it's going to be very tedious and that's why you need Havel Hakimi theorem so what we are going to do is we are going to keep eliminating these sequences and and we'll end up with some sequence with smaller number of vertices okay and then we can analyze that easily because if there are less vertices it's easier to analyze just with our eyes and that's what we are going to do exactly so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this one the first thing we're going to do is let's remove seven seven means we are removing this node from the graph so what happens is that the next seven one uh, this is two this is three this is four this is five this is six and this is seven what you do is from the next seven terms in this degree sequence what you do you take out one one degree because you're removing this seven so you have to take one degree from those that were connected to this so when this one is gone what you are left with the left this becomes five this becomes five this becomes three this becomes three this becomes two and this becomes one and this becomes one all right that's what you are left with when you remove one so when you remove seven next you remove five you keep on doing this until you get small number of edges a small number of vertices that you can analyze easily and now, now what you will do you will move the next five so you remove this one this is two this is three this is four and this is five so when you remove these what you are left with you are left with four left with four for this one okay decrease by one you're left with two for this one you're left with two for this one okay and you're left with one for this one you're left with zero for this one and then you're left with one for this one okay and then what you are going to do is see you can you can remove this also but what how is the degree sequence defined they should be in decreasing order these sequence these terms should be in decreasing order but this zero is kind of coming before one so what you are going to do is you are going to rearrange these so what you will do is you will rewrite this like this four and you will write two and two and up till here it is fine so this zero will go later and this one will come before like this now it is fine now you're again back to the same thing and you can what you can do is you can remove this four so when you remove this four what happens is this one so the next four will be decreased all right the next four so this one is one this one is one so this one is zero and this is zero okay and this was already zero so uh, this last thing is bad okay so this one is again 
0. So what is this degree sequence? Now this is something you can analyze easily. What is this? There are five vertices and two of them have a degree of 1 and three of them have a degree of 0. So what is this is basically this is suppose this is one vertex this is this other vertex and if you join these two what do you get? You get a degree of 1 with this, you get a degree of 1 with this which is fine and then you have these three totally isolated vertex, vertices. Why isolated? Because they have degrees of 0. Because we have three degrees of 0 and these have a degree of 0, all of them. So that's why they are isolated. So that means that in this case uh, which of the following cannot be actually I should have marked this one as tick rather than cross because this is, has to be included in the answer and this one I can mark cross because this is oh sorry uh, we, were, we were analyzing the third one sorry sorry we were not analyzing the second one we were analyzing the third one okay so we just analyzed third and third is fine totally if you keep on applying Havel Hakimi theorem you end up with this thing which is possible so this one is fine so this one is not a graph that this one is not a sequence that cannot be the degree sequence of any graph so what you can do is you can get up with this so this also you can eliminate okay so now it is either four only or four along with two so what you can do is you can apply the same thing to two this time and I'll see what happens when we apply this to two so the first thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down okay what is there in two so we start with six I suppose so six okay so we have six and we have we have another six we have another six we have another six and then we have three we have one more three we have two and we have two all right so that is fine and then what you do is you have to remove this six so what you have to do is you have to choose the next six for which you will decrease them by one these next six one, two, three, four, next six. So this one will become five. This one will become five as well. This one will become five. This is so far it is fine. This one becomes two. This one becomes two. This one becomes one. Okay, and this one becomes this one remains two. All it was two and it remains two. So what happens is that again you have to rearrange these two. Okay, so you have to rearrange these two, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange them just out here like this okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write two first and then one instead of one first and two later so I'm going to write two first and then one and then what I can do is I can keep on doing what I was doing I can remove this one okay and if this is gone, the next five will be decreased. Three, four, and five. So this one will be left with four. And this one will be left with four. Okay, and this all these will be one, 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 and this is a one from the previous one. And I apply it again. So this one is gone. So what about the next four? You talk about the next four and you decrease them by one so this one becomes three okay this one becomes zero this one becomes zero this one becomes zero okay and this one becomes one okay now let's look at this one so this one you can rearrange one can come before and these zeros can go later but is it possible to have something like this think about it I mean can you really have something like this see what is there there is a there is a vertex of degree 3 and there are other there are vertices of degree 0 which are totally isolated and there is this vertex of degree 1 I mean is this possible that you can have something like this so suppose this is the vertex of degree 1 and these are suppose your isolated vertices okay these are all isolated and then you connect 
this with this one. So this one has a vertex, uh, the degree of 1, this one has of 0, this one has of 0. These are the isolated one. And what you have to do out here is you want to give a degree of 3 to this one. Can you give it a degree of 3 without connecting it to any other vertex? Okay, this already has 1, but it needs 2 more degree to, to be consistent with what we are getting. And you cannot do that without changing these other degrees. So what we know from here is that this cannot be the degree sequence also, all right? So which means that this thing, which is option D is correct. Four and two cannot be the degree sequence uh, of any graph, all right.